welcome to this latest After Effects tutorial where I'm doing a, an effect similar to that scene in the introduction for Stranger Things, which is a really good show if you haven't already watched it. So I downloaded the font, which I thought was pretty much similar to uh, when he's in the show, you can find it online, it's called Benguiat or something, you can see in the bottom right of my screen. Um, and I started off by creating the font image that I wanted. Um, and I separated this into the different letters so, because I want parts to be animated separately so they can all fly in at different times, like in the show. So I split uh, the top word into the S, the next three letters, the next three letters, and the R. And then the bottom word, as you can see, I was just splitting into um, each letter and trying to keep it in the exact same position as the whole word was. So once I was happy with that, I obviously centered it, added a stroke effect to each letter, which is what you can see happening now. Obviously, it creates. Uh, I created a mask for each letter before I did this, which turns everything white, and then I added the stroke effect to it. And then I went through with a fill effect and just copy and pasted it onto each letter, which obviously read added a glow um, for effect. And then it was the start of animating the actual letters. So in order to do this, you set a keyframe at the position that you want, the original position, drag that forwards a bit to where you want it to end up, and then just simply move it to wherever you want the word or letter to start, so that it will move from that position to the final position. So I, oh, so I um, initially started off with trying crossover between the TRA and the NG which I didn't really like so as you can see I've changed that and I had the, t the S and the R uh, moving up to the top which I wanted to sort of happen last and then it was a case of animating each of these separate letters as you can see that happening on the screen at the moment. So then I created a rectangle shape, um, which was also going to have a stroke effect. Because it was um, a shape layer, I didn't need to use a mask, I just added the stroke effect, did the exact same thing, added the fill effect, the glows that I had also added, and then I created the two little lines of the S and the R by just uh, rescaling that one. So it keeps the stroke effect on it, it makes it a lot easier than having to create an, an exact same line underneath. And then like with the letters, I animated all of the lines. And then it was a case of working out the camera effects. So if you've seen the original introduction, it does zoom in on various letters and stuff to give it sort of an 80s feel. If you've ever seen Alien or Terminator where the introductions tend to zoom in and sort of show the word coming out, so sort of like that. So similarly with um, the animation of the letters, I just created position keyframes on a camera. And then at the end I obviously put the camera on the entire thing just so you can see the final uh, Stranger Things title. Then I added a glow and this was just a horizontal glow which gives it a sort of motion, uh, motion effect on it. I did weak TV settings, just a little bit of a Exhalation. So it really makes it look like a uh, old 80s film. So there you go, that's the um, full tutorial. Stay tuned for more and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>